Put it in the screw like this, you'll strike the top of the hammer while holding it. It'll turn only a tiny, tiny bit. Carburetor cleaner is highly effective at removing this thick, greasy residue. A thin wire is useful for cleaning and for tracing where passages go. We take our top off, you can see the advantages of plastic, no rust. We take out our spring. We carefully work this from the edge and then work around like that. Lift this out. Even though this diaphragm is at least 15 years old, it's still in excellent condition. I stuck this wire in the air jet for the pilot and then I moved it over to the air jet for the main. And we'll see where it comes out on the other side. We can see it. That little copper tip is the end of the pilot screw or idle mixture screw. When adjusting the pilot screw, turn the screwdriver only halfway. It's easier for your hand. So count half, one, 1 1.5. The pilot screw is designed to deliver gas in the range of one to three turns. If you need less than one turn or more than three, then you have to change the pilot jet. If you don't hear the sucking noise and the door just goes up and down with little or no resistance, then you definitely have a vacuum leak. And that means it's time to remove the top and inspect the diaphragm. Next, we'll see how the slide behaves differently when there's a vacuum leak. It just slides up and down with no resistance. Three basic reasons for removing the top. One, you think you have a vacuum leak. Two, you need to soak the carb in carburetor cleaner. Three, you need or want to change the jet needle. But if the rubber's old, you risk damaging the diaphragm. On a motorcycle, a scooter, or a car, once you have more than one carburetor, then the throttle plates have to be synchronized so that they allow the same amount of air into each cylinder of the motor. Fuel injection also requires synchronization if there is more than one throttle body. I saw this on Adventure Riders Forum. It's a mixture of water and pine saw. It does a pretty good job. And it's a lot less expensive than buying gallons of toxic carburetor cleaner. As always, thanks for watching.